What up? 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 Hey, good people. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. I am well. I am great. I am healed. I am blessed. I had a body trespasser the past couple of days, and I have been fighting flu, a bug flu. I guess you can hear it in my in my voice not bug flu but not bad flu but bug flu i got a bug and one of us had to win eh? and i'm still here ha 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 so if you have flu or whatever disease receive your healing because at the end of the day thanks be to god who always causes us to triumph so whether you want it or not you are gonna win my name is pastor dj and i'm very excited to be here every thursday at 1 p.m joining you on the word sharing a word from god now some of you know that we used to do this every tuesday at 1 p.m but we since changed and we do it every thursday at 1 p.m because change is good i mean for example the locks are out to play today because change is good once in a while yeah you need to breathe once in a while so we're here every thursday at 1 p.m not yet like the youtube channel scratch his head what up what's your issue go ahead and like it so many interesting things that we share here every thursday make sure you click the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any 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 update for the past month we've been speaking about finishing strong how do you finish strong did i introduce myself yeah my name is pastor dj yeah so how do you finish strong and i told you for you to finish strong you have to start again and once you've started again there is the there is the temptation to think, oh my God, oh my God, I can't do it alone. You're standing or you're riding the bike, or the bicycle alone and no one is holding you. There is that temptation. So I told you, you know what? You're actually not alone. You have angels on assignment. I have God with you. Okay, maybe you did not believe that. But I went ahead and I told you that. You have the very essence of God inside you, living and dwelling in you. Considering a, a car that is a four-wheel drive, assume you have a four-wheel drive. So you can't get stuck in your environment because... The car will help you. The four wheel drive will help you jump start and go forward. But I also told you, you know what? You have God holding your hand. God holds your right hand. He has held that was from Isaiah uh, 45. And there is no reason why you shouldn't finish strong as long as you get that and learn that in your mind. And guess what? It's a new month. Happy new month. It's the first of December, the final month of the year 2022 final month of your year 2022 it can only get better 2022 is your year 2023 is going to be your year 2024 is going to be your year because i mean your latter days will be better than your former days so every time you 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 experience something new it's an opportunity for a new start his masses are new every morning so there is power in new things there's power in fasts and what an honor that i get to share with you today on the first day of december the first day of the last month of 2022 and i have no backing for this but it's just revelation that has just come to me the last shall be first if december is the last month of the year it will be the first so if you're thinking that you have not achieved anything this year this last month can actually be the year the month when you achieve even great things because God made the earth in seven days. He made the world, the entire universe in seven days. So what is 31 days to him other than a lot of time for him to do a lot? So maybe you did not catch finish strong in November and now you're in December. You're like, man, let's just wait for Christmas and then start again next year. You're here for a reason. This can very easily be your best month this year. And throughout this month, I'm just going to be sharing with you tips on what you can do how to stay connected why you need to stay connected and what you need to stay connected to in order for you to finish stronger or strongest and so the the, the summon series for this this month is not necessarily finish strong i'll get a title by the time i was recording this i have not yet thought of, of a title but particularly today i want to share with you about the word of god and what a beautiful thing the word of God is. But I'll start with the story because stories are good. So uh, I'm one of those people who 
I keep one password on my phone. I lock my phone because I don't want butt dial or shoulder dial or pocket dial or whatever. And I keep only one password. Password. I've met people who have passwords on their WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. I don't know what. Like for you to access them, you need a password. I think that's too much work, honestly. So I only have a password on my phone. At one point, I think I had a laptop that didn't have a password. I don't remember correctly, but I'm also those people. If you you spend a lot of time around me, you will have the password to my Wi-Fi. You will have the password to my phone. You will have the password to my laptop. Because I do not keep so many things on there that I expect um, that are private. I don't know if you know. I don't have anything to hide per se. So if you come to our home, you you will automatically access the Wi-Fi password if you if you're near me, like my my brother, my husband, my my sister. Most of them know my 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 phone password and my laptop password as well. But the the the, the thing I want to share, and this is a character that is very common in my family as well, among some of us. Um. What the thing I want to share is around Wi-Fi. So I'm seated. Um, I live in a, in, a, in a town that is about two and a half hours away from where my parents stay. And about five hours from where my sister stays currently. And if you're watching this in 2072, surely a lot has changed. I'm probably not living two hours away from, from here or five hours away from there. And so I am connected to my my husband, my sister, and my brother's Wi-Fi. And whenever I am with them, automatically my phone connects to the Wi-Fi. But I'll speak mainly about my brother because this is a thing that I found very, very interesting. So my brother lives in a place called Jinja. And by the time I'm recording, he lives in a place called Jinja. And I live in a place called Bali. And my sister lives in a place in Kampala. Now, recently, I've connected to my brother's Wi-Fi many, many, many times. But recently, one of the things that shocked me is I went home, I went, you know, over, and I did not have a mobile data, or mobile internet. I had not yet bought it, it had expired or something. And then suddenly, I noticed my WhatsApp messages start coming through. Tick, 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 tick. I'm like, oh, okay, how come? How come I have data? And then it showed me that I was connected to my brother's Wi-Fi automatically. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Another time I was at home, and uh, so we have, you know, set Wi-Fi at home. And the disadvantage with the home Wi-Fi is when there's no power, there's no electricity, of course the Wi-Fi goes off. So I am doing some work on my computer, and so is my husband doing work on, 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 on his computer as well. And then suddenly, electricity goes off. But for some reason, I kept on working. And I did not understand, like, why am I working? Till I looked and I realized that I had connected to his Wi-Fi on his phone. I mean, because wife privileges, duh. Anyway, so I connected to his Wi-Fi on his phone. Another time, and this is very recent, I, I, I went, I uh, was with my sister, and I kept trying to connect to Tether my laptop to my phone and it kept on refusing and it kept on connecting to a techno spark techno spark techno spark and my mind was like why am i why do i keep connecting automatically techno spark until i realized that the techno spark was her was her phone and until she left and i disconnected it and i was like wow and in that mix god gave me a revelation that just like i started to receive my wi-fi messages and just that like i started to, to work even when i had no power because i was connected in the first story to my brother and the second story to my husband and then um you know with my sister as well i kept on connecting to her because i connected before is the same way we should be connected to the word of god it's our source of power it's our plug-in it's what gives us access it's what gives us leeway or the ability to receive your messages on the phone if you know what i mean i had no data 
and I traveled two and a half hours to Jinja and I did not get any message. But the moment I connected to my brother's Wi-Fi, I started to receive the messages. Were the messages there? Yeah, probably hanging. And I drove two and a half hours without getting any message. The moment I came into contact with my brother, all the messages came through. So there are different ways this scenario plays out. For the bro- my brother, I had no inter- no internet, so I wasn't connected until I met him. For my husband, because I was already connected to him, even with the disruption of power, I was able to remain working. With my sister, I tried to connect to my Wi-Fi, which was weaker. But because I was really connected to her, the stronger one took over. So my PC could only connect to her. And that is the same thing with the Word of God. A lot of what I'm going to be sharing is from Psalms 19. And in Psalms 19, it basically talks about the Word of God, all the way from verse, from verse 7 um, all the way down. But one of the verses that really, really stands out for me is in verse 7, Psalms 19, it says, The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. To revive something is to... The word that comes to my mind is to jump start. Is to start it again. Is to... Actually, I have my PC here. If I could just get for you very quickly synonyms of the word revive to revive is to arouse to energize to encourage to quicken to recover to rejuvenate to rekindle to renew to repair to restore to resurrect to resuscitate to revitalize to strengthen to awaken to brighten and the bible is telling us i'm reading from the niv that the word of god revives the soul the word of god starts things again the word of god makes you receive messages that have been in the air it revives your phone to receive assuming it was data the word of god is perfect and when i say the word of god i mean the bible the very breath of god the words that he has written the bible says that the word of god is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. The word of God also tells us that the entrance of his word gives understanding to the simple. There is power in your connection to the word of God. There is power and access and revitalization in you spending time in the word of God, listening and reading. Because the word of God has promises and truths for you that you will never ever get to experience until you actually read. If I had continued from Mbale to Entebbe and I never got into contact with my brother, I would never have connected and got all those messages that I needed. And I would always think I have no data because I had not plugged in to the source, which is the word. And I would have continued my journey going ahead thinking, oh, I don't have data. Oh, the network is bad. Oh, And then maybe I'd have to buy and spend, yet I could get it here for free. If I had never connected to my husband's Wi-Fi, when the power would have gone off, I would have been affected like everyone else in the neighborhood. But because I was connected to the source, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I continued like nothing was happening. The word of God tells us truths that we need for this life. Cast your burdens unto me because I care for you. Come to me all you who are weak and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Once you know that and everyone is carrying a certain burden. And you have connected to this word. You get to experience messages of rest. Messages which were already there for you but because you are not connected by his stripes you are healed you get to know that oh you behold us in a mirror and you look at his word and you know okay i am actually 
healed. You get to know that God, when he looks at you, he looks at Christ because your identity is hidden in Christ. You get to know that God is good, he's compassionate, his mercy is endure forever. You get to know that the word says there is no condemnation for those who are in the Lord. So yes, you did that bad thing and you've been moving around like this. But God loves you. You get to know that you're bigger than that thing that keeps pulling you down. Because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You get to know that you are a lender and not a borrower. You get to know that he's the one who has given you the ability to make wealth. You get to know that you are stronger than any demonic force in this world because he has given you authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. You get to know that you can do greater things than this that he did. And you get to know what your soul really desires. You get to know a revived, what does a revived so look like by the time it's revived it means it was actually dead and what the word of god does is it gets something that was asleep it gets something that was weak and covered and it unveils it it recovers whatever was broken it restores whatever was lost it repairs whatever was 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 needed fixing it wakes up whatever needs waking up it renews whatever needs to be renewed and that is the word of God we are in the month of December and the temptation the temptation is for you to think that because you're in the month of December it's too late you're behind on your Bible plan you said you're going to read the Bible three times a week you said you're going to read the Bible three times each hour you said you're going to do what, 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 and you did not. Peace be still. You made a mistake. God does not judge you. You did not fulfill. The, you see, when you read the word of God, you know that the God that you serve is the God who, when Thomas went to him and said, I will, I sorry, when Thomas told the disciples, I will not believe until I see and touch. The God you and I serve is not the God who says, okay, cool, peace out. Do says, you don't want to believe me, fine, go. The God you and I serve is the God who says, you will not see until you believe, until you touch. Let me come. That is the God that you serve. He says, let me come and show you. Not to prove a point, but because he wants all of us to know him and to believe him. He's the God who wants us to, to know him for who he is. To know his true love, his perfect love. His word is refined. His word is does not does not does not lie his word does not fall to the ground but it goes and does what it's supposed to do as you begin this month of december today is the first day of december 2022 it's the only first december 2022 there is going to ever be i want to implore you to fall in love with the word of god to fall in love with the word of god more than TikTok, more than Instagram, more than your husband and your children and your parents, more than food. The Bible says I've desired you, your word more than necessary food. Because once you connect to this Wi-Fi, you plug in and connect to truth. And truth is better than facts. <laughs> truth is better than facts, child of God. Truth is better than facts. And I know now you're probably asking yourself, you're like, Pastor DJ, I've always wanted to read the Bible, but I don't know where to start. Now what should I do? Oh, I don't have time. Every time I read the Bible, I sleep. Every time I read, I don't understand it. That's why I'm here for you. I'm going to give you three tips. What would help you? on your journey of reading the Bible. Number one, get a Bible plan. There's you, you can download your version. There are many Bible plans that you can use. Get a Bible plan and follow it. That's one of the ways you can. Number two, you could read a proverb a day. That's one of the things I was tell you know, new believers. You can start from there. Read a new proverb. Read a proverb a day. 
so for example today is first december open the first proverb because proverbs has 31 chapters and the month has 31 days if you determine to read one proverb per day at the end of the month you would have read the entire book of proverbs and trust me that's all you read trust me it will grow on its own because the word of god is sweet sweeter than honey verse 10 says number three if for you bible plan has refused you know reading a proverb a day has also refused start from genesis read it from the beginning if you're a reader read it like a book because it's so powerful it won't just be a book experience it will enter and change your life one of the things i used to do those days when i was you know younger i would sport be like god what do i read ah. but you can do that as well ask the holy spirit what are you teaching me today what are you what are you what are you telling me today what do you want me to see today as i read your word and trust me you will start to see a difference in your life all you need is the word of god there are things in my life i can't explain so many it's really the word of god because i have read it and i've stored it in my heart i don't have all of it i'm still really far from where i want to be but i'm not where i used to be i backslid a bit but the word of god is the truth that is going to turn your last into fast this last month of the year if you follow diligently the word of god you will enter 2023 like and your life will never ever be the same again that's it that's all i have for today i could go on and on and on but one of the things i wanted to challenge you about is if you don't even know who the owner of this word is i want to give you an opportunity to give your life to christ today you're like pastor dj i want to read the word but i don't even know god i did this oh my god hush god loves you all you have to do is repeat this prayer after me and say lord jesus thank you for loving me thank you for your word Today, I give you my life. Take it and do something significant with it. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you say that prayer, you're born again, child of God. Send me an email at freebeingyana@gmail.com, and I'll place you in a loving family to help you walk this journey. This, 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 this is going to be your month as long as you dedicate it to the Word of God. So we'll be discussing every Thursday. I'll be coming up with a different tip for you that will set you on a good course for 2023. Other than that, God bless you. It's your girl, Pastor DJ. See ya. What up?